undefeated in preseason. The Oilers hit the wall in back-to-back -back tilts against the Flames. Routed 5-1 to one at Rexall, they make it closer two nights later in Calgary. It's the last audition for some players. Let's go, Linus! Let's go, buddy, come on now! Boys, lots of hockey, lots of hockey. A close game gets chippy. The team loses its focus. That's the discipline part, boys. On Kiprasov, he had to be careful with that. Matt Hurd on for the snatch collision. Here comes Benny, he's hurting. You keep your f***ing head up. Back the f*** up! Hey, hey. That's a good hit, shoulder, shoulder. We might not like officials, but I'll tell you right now, if you disrespect them, it's going to come back to bite you in the ass. I try like hell to respect these guys as much as there are nights where they really piss me off. So quit beacon off at the referee, quit beacon off at the linesman, do your job, let them do theirs, and we'll carry on. If you can't conjure up what's required of you emotionally by talking to each other and firing each other up, then you got a problem. Concentrate on the job on the ice. So let's get it done. Another loss, another lesson. Final cuts loom. What's interesting about the whole process and what I think gets lost on just about anybody is how uh, the players that end up going down have pushed the players that have been able to stay. We sent some very good players to Oklahoma City. Uh, the players that stood behind and were able to play for the Oilers deserve that opportunity. But those same guys understand they can't take any day here for granted because there's always somebody ready, willing, and probably able to jump in and take their position. I well, won't say anything. I respect the fact that he's not happy, but I'll respect him even more if he demonstrates that he can dominate at the American League level and make it difficult that when there is a position through performance or injury, that he's the guy that we should bring up. The final roster lists a mix of proven vets and promising kids. But one more important call remains to be made. The 13th captain of the Edmonton Oilers, Sean Horkoff. I'm sure he looked around the room and he went, wow, there's, you know, there's not a lot of veterans around. He demonstrated to, uh, you know, to Tom and Steve uh, throughout training camp that uh, he wanted to accept that role and embrace that role and I think it became fairly obvious to everyone he was a likely number one candidate to be captain. Work your line mates a lot, talk with your line, help from the bench, work with each other. Yep. Talk to the goalies back there, D, forwards come back, D, the only good habits out there. There's a lot of eyes on you, uh, not only from the public, but from the players within the dressing room, particularly when you have a really young team. You have to keep a, a real consistency about your demeanor, about your personality. Um, you can't have any down days if you're captain. You have to show up to the dressing room with a smile on your face, ready to work. The way he presents himself to his teammates, there's no one that works harder in the gym or preparation for a season. I can't think of anyone that's ready to address our public, our players, our media when things are good, and sometimes, more importantly, when things are not good. And the beauty of it all is it's just him being him. Uh, there's nothing phony about it. He's not putting it on. It's the real deal, and his teammates need to know that that's what we're looking for. We talked a little bit about us, some of the older guys in the locker room already, about how we want it to be uh, just an open slate. You know, we want everybody to feel like if they have something to be said, they can say it. And you know, once we're in the locker room, everyone's equal. As the 2010-11 edition of the Oilers make final preparations for opening night, the architects of oil change reflect on the work they've done so far. Well, everything's gone well to this point. Changes have made, everybody's settling into a new environment. There's been lots of excitement. I hope they win every game. That's what they want to do. But I keep going back to this as step one. Are people excited? Yeah. 
you can't temper expectations when people see some exciting things out there and some success. I'm glad for the players. I'm glad for people that they can see some type of talent they haven't seen for a long time. The fans, they recognize that this is a, you know, could be a long process. You know, I think we're, we're able to satisfy their expectations in terms of excitement and a team that'll work hard. Hey, make the playoffs, that'd be wonderful. That'd be a huge accomplishment. It'd be very exciting for everyone. It'd be great for the organization. Whitney in the high slot will dish off. Shot Brule through Kiprasov for the first goal of the season. Gilbert Brule. It would be hard to script a better start for the new look Oilers than this. Opening night at home. Calgary Flames in town. First round, Battle of Alberta. Oilers by a knockout.